Hello, my name is Shiraz Kupala. I'm General Manager here at Cadabra Software. And today I will be talking about the Active Directory web service and demonstrating how to incorporate it into a simple InfoPath form. The Active Directory web service allows you to get authenticated user information, another user's name based on their alias, and it integrates very easily with InfoPath forms without writing any code. It can also be used for other types of forms as well. It does not require InfoPath. In this screen, I am showing the actual web service description for the Active Directory web service. It consists of three methods. The first method, getMyInfo, returns the properties of the currently authenticated login user. This is useful to get secure, to, to verify in a secure way the user's login and to uh, get the details for that currently logged in user. The second method, getUserInfo, returns Active Directory properties for any user that is specified. This is useful for getting supplemental information about other users for use on forms. The third method, isUserMemberOfGroup, returns true or false whether or not the user is a member of the specified group. This is useful for permissions and role-based uh, functions in forms. To demonstrate the Active Directory web service, I will use the built-in expense report form that comes with InfoPath 2007. As you can see on this form, it, requ it requests employee information. And for this demonstration, we will populate by default the current user's employee name along with other inter interesting information. To start, we must add the two web service methods as data connections in the form. To do that, we go to Tools, Data Connections, and we add a new data connection to the InfoPath form. In this case, we want to receive data, and we are going to be receiving data from the web service. Here, we must enter the URL to the Active Directory web service. We can use the same URL that appears in the address bar in the browser. We will copy that and paste it into the address field. Next, InfoPath queries the web service and lists out the methods that are available. To start, we will get my information to get the information for the current user and pre-populate that into the form. We click Next and then continue to complete the creation of this data connection. Now let's use it in the form. We want to populate the username automatically from the data connection. So we come to the name field and double click it and then select to insert a default value. Here we will insert a field from the new secondary data connection. We can see that the Active Directory properties are returned as a key value list. So what we need to do is filter out the value that we want. I will select value because that is the information I want to put into the name field, and then I will select to filter that data. I will add a filter and find just the key that pertains to the username. In this case, we use the property display name. There is a list of the available properties on our website uh, that are typically found in Active Directory. We click OK. And now we are getting the, the value of the display name from Active Directory. Let's also add the user's email address. In the same way, we set the default value to come from the list of properties that was returned by the web service. This time, we will add a filter for the email address. Finally, let's preview the form to see what it looks like. The form is now connecting to the web service to download my user details. And you can see that my username and email address have been pre-populated into the form. You'll notice that the manager information and particularly the manager's email address are missing. Let's try to add that information automatically as well. For that, we return to our form 
and we need to add another data connection to the additional method to get user information. We will go back to data connections and add a new receive data connection. Again, for the web service, and we use the same web service description URL that we used previously. InfoPath looks up the information from the web service. And this time we will select the get user info method. This method will take a parameter. We won't specify that here. We'll, we will be specifying that on the fly in the form. Next, we complete the data connection and now we're ready to use that in our form. To start, I need to add a button onto my form. This will trigger the check names function. I will label that check name. And now I will set some rules on that button. I will add one rule with a number of different actions to accomplish this. My first action is to set the query parameter. The field I need to query is in my get user info data connection and I have to set the username. In this case, I will allow the user to enter the username into the manager name field. Okay, now we've set the query parameter so that the web service knows who it's going to be querying for details. Next, I want to actually execute the query. So we will execute the get user info query. And now when that's complete, we want to populate the details from that into the name and the email address field. So we will add another action to set the field's value. First, I will set the value for the email address. And the value that we are going to use is from our secondary data connection, getUserInfo. This will look familiar now from the previous getMyUserInfo. In this case, we want to set the value. And the value we need to filter for, the key will be the mail. So we've now set the value for the mail field. Lastly, we want to set the value for the username so we can resolve that to the full username. We'll add one more action. We will set a field's value to the manager name. And now we will insert the manager name from the user info. Here again, we want to select the value and the key that we will select will be the display name. Everything's all set. We can now try out the form. I close all of these. Let's just make our check names button a little bit smaller so it looks nicer. Now let's try out our form. Our form is ready. My username is in input just fine. Now I will enter the email alias from a manager and click check name. InfoMath queries the get user info method. It has retrieved the information for that user and populated both the email address and replaced the alias with the user's full name. The Active Directory web service is a very powerful tool for making your forms easier to fill out. To use the service, you must have a web server running ASP.NET version 1.1, and you must have some .NET client that can access the web service. Obviously, I've shown you InfoPath, but again, it can be used in other tools as well. Thank you for viewing the Kadabra Active Directory web service demonstration.